Let's talk about fundraising. It's as integral a part of American politics as low voter turnout and terrorizing babies. <laughs> now, historically, <laughs> rich people have hosted fundraisers in America for political candidates, and this happened regularly, and it didn't garner much attention. But in the age of Trump, all of that has changed, as one billionaire just found out. Calls are growing from members of Equinox and SoulCycle to boycott those popular fitness clubs after it was revealed that the chairman of their parent company will hold a big dollar fundraiser for the president. According to the invite, tickets are up to a quarter of a million dollars. Many customers, including celebrities, taking to social media, criticizing and threatening to boycott the gym and its spinning studio, SoulCycle. Comedian Billy Eichner going further, saying he is canceling his membership. Chrissy Teigen tweeting, everyone who cancels their Equinox and SoulCycle memberships, meet me at the library. Bring weights. What, Chrissy, what are you doing? You can't just work out in the library. <laughs> People are masturbating in there. Show some respect. <laughs> Come on, Chrissy. <laughs> but that's right. The owner of Equinox and SoulCycle is throwing a fundraiser for Donald Trump at a house in the Hamptons. So now there are growing calls for people to boycott Equinox and SoulCycle. And to all those people canceling their memberships, I say, good luck. Have you ever tried to get out of a gym membership? <laughs> it is impossible. <laughs> people don't know this, but the real reason Harriet Tubman fled the South was to escape her Planet Fitness contract. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> She's like, I heard in the North, they let you pay month to month. <laughs> And in the wake of this backlash, the Equinox owner, Stephen Ross, released a statement defending himself. But I'll be honest, I think it only made things worse. Ross defended his relationship with Trump, saying, in part, I have known Donald Trump for 40 years, and while we agree on some issues, we strongly disagree on many others. I started my business with nothing, and a reason for my engagement with our leaders is my deep concern for creating jobs and growing our country's economy. I have been and will continue to be an outspoken champion of racial equality, inclusion, diversity, public education, and environmental uh, stability. Okay, uh, let's get something straight. If you're hosting a fundraiser for Donald Trump, I don't know if you can call yourself a champion of racial equality and inclusion, <laughs> all right? You're not a champion. You can call yourself a contender of racial equality. You can call yourself a part-time participant of racial equality. You can call yourself a dabbler of racial equality, <laughs> you know? Not a champion. You're not a champion. Like, like, if racial equality was a sport, you'd be playing pickup games. That's basically what this is. Because, you see, like, Ross has come out, and basically what he's saying is that he supports the business side of Donald Trump, but he doesn't support the racism side of Donald Trump. But you realize if you actually listen, you analyze what he's saying, what he's actually saying without realizing it is that he can afford to support Trump's business side because Trump's racism side doesn't affect him. That's what he's saying. <laughs> and here's the thing. Here's the thing. SoulCycle and Equinox both have very liberal, diverse memberships. But when the news asked these members how they would participate in the boycott, their feelings were mixed. I'm really bummed to hear that the owner of Equinox is involved in uh, Trump's campaign. It really bums me out. I don't like President Trump, but, uh, but I'm not gonna go canceling my membership over it. Yeah, I'll cancel. There's a gym right down the street. If he goes through with this uh, fundraiser, I'm probably gonna be out. So. I'm not gonna cancel, no. <laughs> I'd rather have plantar fasciitis without treatment than having to support in any way anything affiliated with Trump supporters. <laughs> yeah, that, was... that was so specific. You know, normally people give you a general thing. He was like, yeah, I'd rather have plantar fasciitis in my left leg, right below the knee, than to support. But that's right. Some people are torn, but many people say, if this happens, they're out. And you know what? I'm joining them. In fact, I haven't gone to the gym in the last three months in preparation for this moment. <laughs> That's right. That's right.